Hi, this is Mike Serini of this edition of Meet Your Council, and today we're with Bob and Jill from our city HR, and Jill, you're from the engineering department. So today, uh, we're talking about something a little bit different. Uh, we have a food truck that was recently approved by the city council to uh, come out on a, a short-term basis uh, once a week, and I just wanted to highlight that and uh, give some more information about it. So Bob, why don't you give us some information about that? Well, we actually have a number, eight different food trucks that come out, one each week, and then there'll be some that'll rotate, and they began in April? End of April. And they'll go through October. Excellent. We think it gives our employees a, a, a change from, you know, the humdrum of the day. Right. Exactly. So that, that's what the story really is. Is This came across the council office, uh, council for approval and I was like, you know, it's not a bad idea, but you know, I always support our brick and mortar businesses and say, hey, you know, our, our employees should uh, go out and, and patronize the, the, uh, the businesses in the area. And then I started thinking more into it and I got a call from our director, uh, Mrs. Pepper, and she was telling me about the social aspect and the fact that we have picnic tables and a time to get away and there's not really a, a, a larger facility inside uh, for everyone to get together. Right. And uh, I never took that into consideration and I don't think any of my colleagues did. Then we started thinking about it and we said that's a great idea. So uh, I started getting the emails, uh, of course we approved it, mm -hmm. and uh, we Thank started, you. of course, <laughs> we started getting the emails and say, hey, this food truck is on, the next, you know, different kinds. Uh, I've seen a Mexican truck, ribs, all kind of stuff. So what happened after that is I said, you know what, I'd like to, uh, me and my family with my wife, Dalal, which we got to get her in here in a minute, uh, decided that we should uh, sponsor a food truck for the employees. I think that's the least we could do. Our employees work really hard, talk with Miss um, Pepper and our HR, and she said, you know, we usually get 80 to 90 people, but we think if... If you're footing the bill, we might get double. I said, that's a great idea. So we're trying to uh, get uh, almost 200 of our employees to take a few minutes, take a break, you know, enjoy this wonderful weather, sit down with your colleague and, and not really talk about an engineering or an HR issue. Right, right. And uh, I think it's a great, great idea. Yeah, to know each other. Exactly. Because that's what it's about. I mean, sometimes we think when the day goes by, we're spending more time with people at our employment than we do sometimes with our families. So, uh, Bob and Jill, we also have some new initiatives uh, with our uh, healthy eating. Why don't you give us some information with Team Dearborn on it? Right. Team Dearborn is a, uh, uh, a cross-departmental uh, group of employees uh, sanctioned by the administration. And uh, we look to be able to provide support for employees, uh, wellness programs for employees, Excellent. and safety programs for employees. Um, the food truck is one of those support programs that helps make feel, people feel pretty good. Next week on Friday, we'll do a summer uh, walking kickoff event. It's a one mile walk around the Dearborn campus. And everyone who participates will get a Team Dearborn t-shirt. Excellent. And those yeah. t-shirts come to us uh, through a grant that we got with the uh, uh, National, uh, Kidney Na Foundation. National Kidney Foundation. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, that's great. I know we've been writing grants. We can definitely write grants in the city. That's always important to get that share of the money back to where we well, be giving it up to. That, that's a point. We'd like to be able to do something, but you'd always have money in the budget to do it. That's right. And this is something on, on the outside. Now, we're also using... Uh, the Health Alliance Plan and Blue Cross Blue Shield Excellent. to help with the wellness programs that we're doing. And they have a number of things that they do for us. Well, I sometimes come in late to the council meeting and I got to get something, you know, coming out of my job. So I run to the vending machine. Now, Jill, they're, they're doing some change and update to the vending machine. I'm not going to have a Kit Kat in there no more or what's going on? There's still Kit Kats in there, but um, we have updated the vending machines with more healthier snacks. So, you know, we've got some healthier crackers in there, some clip bars, healthy yeah. bars. I see some fiber bars in there. I stayed away from that one. But, I mean, there is some good Tuna stuff in there. Fish in there. Mm -hmm. Tuna yes. fish? I yeah. didn't see that one. That's a good one. I think it's a great idea. It builds morale. We need good morale in the city to keep keep our, our residents happy and give them the proper services. So I can't thank you enough. I appreciate oh, thank it. Thank you for helping us out today. I want to thank you all for tuning in for this edition of Meet Your Council. Myself, my family, my wife, Dalal. We really appreciate the opportunity of giving back to our employees. And thank you very much. Thank you.